Robert Wayne Lee, also known as Bupak Shakur, was a social media personality who was known for posing as an underage girl to lure potential sex offenders. Sometimes it would go wrong. Sometimes it would get violent. And unfortunately, on September 29th, 2023, Robert Wayne Lee met his demise. Hey, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'll beat your ass. Pedophile! Pedo! Everybody get their phone out. You a pedophile, bitch. And I'll sock you again. Pedo! <laughs> pedophile! I don't believe you, but I understand. You understand? You said, can you see more, some more pics? They said, I'm in school right now. He said, I see. He said, okay, what do you want to do? I'm down for well, It's not at all like that. It's... What do you mean it's not like what? No, it's... What I'm saying is, is that you're reading what was said, but you're sticking through to the part. Hey, what's up? Man, not so much. Not so much. I'm just cool. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to be real. Like, I'm younger. Okay, just like, a lot of guys get mad, and I just didn't want to hang out, and then you get mad at me, and like... Excuse me, everybody! Oh, this man right here came to meet a 14 year old girl! This man is a pedophile! Pedophile! You drove from Bay City! I your children! And the muchacho is the beginning! He's a pedophile! He's a pedophile! What's up, dog? What you come here? What you come here to do, sir? Came to meet a little girl, didn't you? A Pontiac man known for pursuing sexual predators. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Simon Shaykhet. Robert Lee, known as Bupak Shakur, was shot and killed at Universal Coney Island in Pontiac last night. Lee had a large social media following and would pose as young girls online, then record confrontations with sexual predators whom he communicated with. Tonight, friends and family gathering to host a vigil for Lee. Seven Action News reporter Tierra Braddock has a closer look at Lee's history and this warning from law enforcement. Robert Lee, a.k.a. Bupak Shakur, made it his mission to expose child predators. Last night, he was killed right here inside this Coney Island. Tonight, people gathered around it to pay their respects. I talked to a lot of victims and they appreciate what I do. That was Robert Lee back in January. For a little over a year, the Pontiac native used social media to pose as underage girls to catch sexual predators. He would forward his conversations to police. Lee would even confront the would-be predators himself. Videos like this one were posted on Lee's Facebook page of him confronting alleged predators. This video has almost 3,000 views. Certainly he was a very well-intentioned person, you know, very much in alignment with our philosophy. We want to see uh, child predators taken off the street, held accountable. We want to protect kids. Lee was fatally shot inside Universal Coney Island near North Perry and MLK Boulevard late Friday night. Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard says Lee confronted two men who were inside the restaurant. He even accused one of the men of being a pedophile. The confrontation escalated very quickly and ultimately the second individual in the booth produced a uh, firearm and shot him uh, multiple times. Police have arrested the two suspects involved in Lee's shooting. They haven't released their names because they haven't been formally charged yet. According to Sheriff Bouchard, Lee's one-man crusade led to arrest and criminal charges of several men. The sheriff says this type of vigilantism can be very dangerous. He doesn't recommend people confronting predators. Oftentimes, if you actually corner a predator, sometimes they become violent. They get trapped, they, you know, try to get away using any means at their fingertips. Meanwhile, Lee will be missed by his family, friends, and the fans of his work. He really changed a lot of lives. He really cared about the kids of the community. He wanted to he wanted to keep everyone's kids safe and he was just a really really caring person in the community. He really cared about this city a lot. This is from the GoFundMe that was organized on behalf of Robert Wayne Lee. In the tight-knit community, we were fortunate to have a beacon of light named Robert Lee, 
a true hometown hero. Robert dedicated his life to protecting the innocence of our children from those with malicious intentions. Through his courageous efforts, he successfully exposed 132 predators who sought to harm our community's youth. Tragically, on Friday, September 29th, 2023, while carrying out his mission to protect our children, Robert was fatally shot by a repeated offender. He leaves behind a legacy of bravery and service that has forever impacted our lives. Now, there have been mixed reactions to Bupak. On one hand, in the comments, people are calling him a hometown hero, that he has helped to arrest over 132 predators. But then there's people that are saying it's creepy and it's weird to set people up uh, who could be potential predators. I think he was doing a great service. I believe his intentions were good. I believe we need more people like this. But we also have to pay attention to the fact that these people are creeps and that their reaction is going to be violent. And it's unfortunate that Bupak lost his life for doing something good for the community. Rest in peace, Bupak.